Well, a lot of you were mad when you heard about this little guy, Little Joe, and other dogs who were abandoned during the border fire. Well, only on 10 News reporter Joe Little did some digging and found disturbing information about their owner. You see this van behind me here. It has been parked in that same spot since the border fire came through here last week. And people who know this area well are worried about its owner. We've kept an eye on this property along the 94, waiting for the owner of this van to come back and explain why he left almost a dozen dogs behind. And the fact that it's going on day nine and nobody's heard from him is something to be concerned about. We ran the plates on this van. The DMV says it's registered to a Joe Keefe. Leanne Mitsui says he goes by Jim, but everyone calls him Barefoot Jim. He's just kind of an old hippie man. He's a local favorite from, from what I understand. Sean Garrity came here earlier to bury dogs killed in the fire. I was kind of forced to leave the property once, once the authorities showed up. Otherwise, I'm fairly certain I would have found a, a few more. I'd like to have gone up actually into the hills to see what we could find up there, but I'm hoping that, uh, that search and rescue, once they actually get out here, they're going to do that. Neighbors filed a missing persons report. Mitsui says there are small caves in this hillside. They fear Keith and his wife, who is also missing, hid in one of them when the border fire blasted through. A lot of people are helping that he gets found. There's a lot of people that are upset. It would explain why no one has claimed Little Joe or the other dogs rescued from this property. Cal Fire said Sheriff Search and Rescue is in charge of the investigation. Mitsui fears the worst. Start checking the hillsides and making sure that there's not a body back there. In Potrero, Joe Little, 10 News. A spokesperson for the Sheriff's Department says search and rescue is coordinating a search ASAP. There is still a few dogs on the property that have been impossible to catch. However, animal services and neighbors have left plenty of food and water for them.